guys, today I'm sharing with you how we decorated our house for fall and Halloween. We just moved back to Charlotte, North Carolina about three months ago, finally getting a little bit settled in. We have a lot of work to do upstairs, but the main floor is feeling pretty good right now. We were able to find a place just down the street from my parents, which was awesome. It was in a great school district. It felt clean and updated and bright, and those are really important things to me. One downside, it's tiny. It is a tiny house, but we're saving it for our dream home. I know we won't be here forever, and this is the area that we wanna be in. So I decided, okay, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna buckle down in the space, get smart about how we have everything set up, and still make it feel like home and have fun decorating. Today's video will not be showing the upstairs because it is scary up there. Legit scary, so messy. So even though I have tons of other organization stuff I need to do upstairs, I feel like for the most part the downstairs is pretty organized and ready to roll. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna have some fun and I'm gonna decorate for Halloween. And the kids thought it was amazing. It doesn't take much to get them excited about holidays, just a few little touches in every room and their eyes just light up. We definitely don't do our Halloween decorations very spooky. We're more like fun, silly, cute Halloween kind of people. My oldest is 10 all the way to a one year old, almost one year old. So we definitely can't go too scary. And honestly, like my girls probably are the scaredy cats of the group. This little garland is from Target, a couple years back. Same with the dishes, these were bargain bins. The pumpkin was from Michael's, and I still cannot find, I have like a whole other bag of those, can't find them. This bow was from Michael's, and I just added it on to my wreath there. Sienna and Sophie did an amazing job putting cobwebs everywhere. I said, hey, can you grab the cobwebs that are really up there? I don't know how long I'll be able to handle that. <laughs> It's like, drives me nuts. But seriously, all my kids care about are those cobwebs, so if it makes them happy, sure. I can handle it for a couple more weeks. The bats, we have gathered over the years. Um, they're all from Target. There's hanging ones, and then there were some that I got that were for the wall. And so I just kind of put them around the kitchen table area, which when I did that, you would have thought like I did magic. My kids were like, oh my gosh. So we have the bats in the air. These pumpkins are from Michael's last year. And then this is the runner from the Magnolia line at Target. So I just lined up our little pumpkins, one for each kid. And then this sign over here was from Hobby Lobby. This is our kitchen space that we've decorated for Halloween. We have our little Halloween sign, Target bargain bins, Pretty sure both of these things are from that. I'm eventually gonna fill this with some candy. I just haven't gone to the store to do all of that. All right, and this way to the playroom, I put some bats up there. This is where the kids hang their backpacks. This is the most used room in our house, and guys, I promise I'm gonna do a full home tour, but for today, I'm just focusing on the different Halloween decorations that we did. I reorganized the bookshelves. We just got a few new ones that we read last night, and I had to make space for them, so we moved out the activity books. And I, I really wanna set up a like craft space up in the hall playroom area and just have that be just for those different types of activities. I put some bats up, and these I cut out last year. I googled like a bat template, printed it, traced it on some black cardstock paper, cut them out. I think I did it with Sophie, we made it like a project, so it, was, it wasn't too bad, and it was worth it, because then we just kept them for this year. So we printed out some bats, put them up. This is my little desk over there. 
And then in the family room, Hunter's having a little snack. Hey, hi, can you wave hi? Hi, can you wave hi? I'm thinking about it. We hung up our trick-or-treat banner from Target. That was from a year or two ago. And then last year we made these really fun little ghost handprints. And I added them onto this ribbon that I think I got at Michael's. It was really fun because this year I pulled it out of the Halloween bin and we all looked on the back and saw each name and whose handprint was whose and the kids thought it was really cool. Over here I added another bow. Same place as the one in the kitchen, Michael's. They were half off, I think. Put our old little spooky sign up there. And then over here we have more cobwebs. Because of my children, they love them. I'm resisting the urge to tear them down. <laughs> right, right, right. So we suck some of those up and the kids thought they were amazing. These pumpkins are fun because the boys think they're balls and they throw them and they kick them and eventually they probably will not be here. But for the past few days, that's where they've been and I think they're cute. But this guy and his brothers, this is like a bowling alley for them right here. So we'll see. But they are plastic and they're from Michaels. I used to have decor on the bottom levels, but Hunter decided that he is taking over this level. So we have like a little bin of toys for him. So that's really all we've done for Halloween decorations right now. And I'm good with that. I'm totally good with that. We've been in this house for three months and we're finally getting settled. Eventually I'm gonna get their Halloween crafts that they do at school and we're gonna put those up there. Maybe I'll get my act together and we'll do some like crafts at home. I don't know, it's craziness here. Can you say bye? Say bye. Can you wait bye? I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and snooping around our house a little bit, seeing how we decorated. I hope that you add some fun little touches of Halloween and fall to your home. It just makes the season of life that we're in as mamas that much more fun when we embrace the holidays and do these fun little things with our kids. It doesn't take much. Throw some pumpkins out there, cut out some blacks out of cardstock paper, and you're ready to roll. Okay guys, I hope you're having a good day, bye.